Hello again, good afternoon to you. It's now time for business. Now, President of the World Cocoa Foundation, Richard Covey, has praised the efforts of the Ministry of Agriculture and Cocoa Board for their effective collaboration with the private sector to ensuring that cocoa continues to be a profitable venture. In an interview with Adom News at the Tropical Forest Alliance 2020 TFA in a series of events in Accra, Richard Covey advocated a further enhanced collaboration to overcome the decline in world prices recently. The Ministry of Agriculture and the Cocoa Bod are very committed to strengthening the incentives for cocoa farming and making sure that cocoa becomes again a profitable exercise compared to other crops. There had been a decline in the world prices for cocoa over the past year and a half because of global oversupply, which was creating problems for Ghana and Cote d'Ivoire and, and all cocoa farmers around the world. But the global supply has been stabilized and prices have increased. So I think we'll see cocoa farming being attractive again to the population. We think it's very important for the farmers and the government to collaborate with the private sector on improving yields. Ghana has maintained some of the lowest yields of cocoa around the world, about 400 to 500 kilos per hectare. With very straightforward and low cost improvements, the Ghana farmers could be doubling that and getting 800 kilos to one ton from their farm. So we want to, the private sector wants to work with the farmers and with government to introduce improved planting material, uh, work together to train farmers on good agricultural practices and to promote fertilization and other organic manure. Now, Managing Director of Cal Bank, Frank Edu Jr., has called for some divisions in the functions of the Central Bank of Ghana to enable it to perform its supervisory roles effectively. He noted that over the years, the number of banks and financial institutions has increased, thereby stepping up the regulatory functions of the central bank. Frank Edu Jr. spoke with, in an interview with Joy Business after the bank took its turn at the Facts Behind the Figures series at the Ghana Stock Exchange. With the expansion of the financial sector, that maybe they should look at, at um, their roles and responsibilities and categorizing them so that the, the central bank is there for its monetary policy, financial stability, etc. And then you have a... Um, a separate institution which will take over the BSD role of the central bank. Because I think today with three, four hundred NBFIs, thirty something banks, all these other institutions, savings and loans, etc., coming up, the the banking supervision department would need an army of about two thousand people. You know, and two thousand people is a whole institution plus more. So if that could be hyped up for the central bank as a financial conduct authority and they will be responsible and it's not it's not i mean it's not my idea it's been done in england and it's i think that the governors are have been talking about it themselves you know so but i think it should be precipitated because if you had bsd is capable but they overstretched you know and if they had the resources the human resources and that they, they i don't think that would have had the situation that we've had with the three banks or four banks and those, that situation is contagious, you know. Um, it's contagious and people must understand that when the contagion, if there's contagi any contagion, even the foreign banks can be affected because once you lose confidence and there is, there's no problem with the, with, the, with the financial sector, but if there's a problem, it will spread very quickly, you know. So, um, but there's, as, as the central bank, as the deputy governor said two days ago, the... Um, the financial sector is still solid. The fundamentals are right. But I think that we should give serious consideration to this suggestion. That's all in business for now. There will be more business shortly on the marketplace. My name is Imano Abwaji. We are free. Have a good afternoon.